for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I'm joined here by my friend, Buddy. Say hello, Buddy. Show everyone your hands. Yep. Uh, we're going to be testing these AccuFake, or, yeah, sure, the Mega, 3D printed Mega um, AccuStrike darts, which you can't see clearly because it won't focus, because I turned off autofocus to get it to quit autofocusing, and now it won't autofocus. There's no pleasing me. Anyway, they're 3D printed AccuStrike heads, fairly similar to regular AccuStrike heads. The design is a little bit different. Um, the downside, of course, with them is that they are 3D printed, so they're fairly rigid, but they're not very hard. So they don't have a lot of... Well, they're not very heavy. They don't have a lot of mass, so it would sting a little, but it probably wouldn't cause, like, a nasty bruise unless it was coming out of something really powerful at short range. But you definitely still want to pad this with something, maybe a little bit of felt or... Um, if Constantly. nothing else, um, try to cast them out of rubber or something. Um, but we're going to take them out to the shooting range, and we're going to see if they actually fly any straighter. Um... Mega darts, regular Nerf mega darts, are notoriously inaccurate, especially when you put a lot of power through them. And the theory is that it's the whistle that's causing drag and causing it to veer off in weird directions because the whistles aren't always aligned in the same direction, so they'll veer up or they'll veer down depending on the position of the whistle. Or whirly bird. Or whirly bird. These don't have the whistles, in it, but they've got flat heads. But then so do Accu Strike and AccuFake darts, and so do the new Mega Accu Strike darts that are coming out later this year. So let's hit the range and see how well it works. All right, we're in the alley. We've got the slightly out of focus um, Mega Accu Strike with the 3D printed heads. Lord only knows how these are going to work, but we're going to give them a try. We're going to fire them out of a bunch of different stuff. We've got my Magnus shotgun. We've got my K26 tri break. We've got a Stock Centurion and a Stock Magnus, and we're gonna see how well it works. Let's start with the Stock Magnus. Real straight. It shoots straight. I'll give yeah. it a run. Yeah. Real Try the uh, Centurion. Yeah. Okay, the the tri break. K26. Yeah. Okay. And my uh, Magnus shotgun. Got another shot on this tri break. All right, let's do the tri break again. Yeah, that looks like super straight. Yeah, you can't. I mean, they've got hard heads. You can't shoot them at anybody. But well, I mean, John, you can shoot him at John. You can shoot him at John. Yeah, that'll be okay. I'll try the Centurion again for fun. Last shot out of the Centurion. Fantastic. <laughs> Well, there you have it. They actually fire remarkably straight. Um, they don't fire any farther than regular Megas, maybe even a little bit shorter. They were coming in at about 60 feet, but very, very accurate and consistent. Um, every bit as accurate as um, the Busby or the Litex sticky darts that I was seeing. So I think that leads credence to the idea that it's the whistle that causes the inaccuracy and definitely makes me hopeful for the Megadark, AccuStrike Megadarts that are coming out this year because they're flat-headed, and hopefully they'll fly nice and straight. And maybe we'll actually be able to finally get some decent, useful Mega Blasters going um, with a good source of ammunition. Hopefully they'll then lead to off-brand Mega AccuStrike, Mega AccuFix, if you will. Um, and we'll get to have some fun with Mega, which at that point I would probably really start pushing to add the rule where Mega Darts penetrate shields, kill the shield wielder, but don't destroy the shield, just because it would be fun to have mega snipers popping shields from halfway across the field. Well, um, I mean, if we had useful mega darts, then that would be something that I could see our group using. Yeah. So. so, we will see how that turns out. Thank you so much for sending me these. This was a really neat thing to, to play around with. Um, I don't know if I'd ever try to use them in a war. Maybe if I could find some way to pad the heads. Though I, I don't know if anyone um, would allow that. I don't know if I'd even want to try that. My more bigger concern, not would not be with getting hit with these, but more the, the edges on them. Yeah. That's just a scraped eye waiting to happen. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever be comfortable using these in an actual battle, but I love that they do prove the concept. So um, if somebody can figure out how to make heads like these, either cast them or mold them or something out of a softer material, that would be awesome. So thank you, and thank you for watching.